How long does Novocaine last? And how can I speed up the process of making the numbness go away after my dental appointment? Let's talk. Hi, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist here to talk about getting numb at the dentist. How long does the numbing last? And once you leave the dentist's office, how to make it wear off faster. But before we get started, make sure to get my free oral care guide. Click the link in the description below or in the pinned comment to join thousands who have already discovered all of the essential components for an effective oral hygiene routine. This guide is an action plan for preventing and maintaining a happier and healthier smile. I made it just for you for it can also help you stay on routine at home thus avoiding the need for dental procedures such as fillings and crowns and root canals, procedures where you'd need to get numb. So to avoid all of that, check out the link in the description. And now for today's video, let's talk about how long numbing lasts and how to shorten the effects. First things first, for the purpose of this video, I titled it Novocaine, even though Novocaine is no longer used in dentistry. I just knew that people might be searching for it by that name, so I put it in the title, but it has not actually been used in dental offices since the 1950s. And lots of dental professionals still call it Novocaine for simplicity's sake. That word somehow really stuck. But please know that the local anesthetic drug Novocaine is no longer used in dentistry. It is solely used as a layman's term. Nowadays, what we actually use are other common local anesthetics such as lidocaine, articaine, mepivacaine, and others. But regardless of which one your dental provider uses, local anesthesia medications all typically work similarly to one another. And since I like to share dental knowledge, we will stick to the correct terminology and use the words local anesthetic throughout this video instead of saying Novocaine, because it ain't Novocaine. So how local anesthetics work is that they are injected at a specific point in your mouth near different nerves. Different nerves serve different teeth or parts of your mouth and block your your body's ability to send pain signals or other stimuli to your brain. So when they are, say, drilling your teeth or deep cleaning around your gums, you won't feel it. You will be nice and numb and comfortable. And unlike general anesthesia, you are not unconscious with local anesthetic. You can still feel general pressure. It just won't hurt. You might feel like someone is touching that area, but there will be no pain. If you've ever had a dental procedure before where you needed to get numb, such as a filling or a crown, you know that feeling. Even if it doesn't feel totally numb, the tingling or fat feeling in your mouth may seem to take forever to wear off after your appointment. So how long does it really last? Most local anesthetics will completely wear off within a few hours after your dental treatment. I tend to use lidocaine with most of my patients and I usually tell them about two hours upon onset is the average length of time it lasts and how long you can expect it to wear off. Anything longer than about six hours isn't really normal. And if you're still feeling facial or dental numbness the next day, you should definitely call your dental office. And also before you get numb, prior to your appointment, always make sure your medical history is updated. Always communicate your health history and medication list with your dental provider beforehand so they have everything they need to effectively administer local anesthetic. This is because numbing medications work in a lot of different ways. On top of that, everyone responds to them differently. Some people may only feel dental numbness for a couple of hours, the average, while others take between four and six hours before it totally wears off. So how can you make the numbing go away after your appointment? Waiting and resting are the easiest ways to pass the time while your local anesthetic wears off on its own. But if it's really bothering you, or if you are someone who tends to stay numb for longer than most people, here are the six ways to make local anesthetic wear off more quickly. Although they may not help immediately, they can at least speed up the process a little bit. Starting with number one, go for a walk. As long as you did not have any serious oral surgery like wisdom tooth extractions or gum grafting surgery or dental implant placements, it's usually okay to get up and move around after procedures like fillings and crowns. If you got numb for a filling or a crown, take a brisk walk afterwards or move around a lot to get your blood flowing because it can help flush out the anesthetic medication from the injection site. However, again, if you just had a tooth extraction or something more involved, oftentimes we want you to take it easy. So only do this one if it was something easy like a filling or a crown. And of course, always follow your dentist post-op instructions. Number two, massage your face. Take your fingertips and gently massage the sides of your face in a circular motion, a circular pattern for about 10 minutes. Massage helps increase the blood flow, which is why it works so well on sore muscles. And it feels really good, even if you're not numb. <laughs> so just like walking, an increase in blood flow shortens the duration of the local anesthetic. Again, I wouldn't do this if you just had a tooth extraction. Honestly, if 
I just had a tooth extraction, I wouldn't want to speed up the process of the numbing to go away. I would want it to last as long as it could since the area will tend to be sore after a tooth is pulled. But again, with fillings and crowns, no problem. If you hate the numb feeling, another thing you could try is number three, a warm compress. Especially if you don't feel like massaging the side of your mouth for 10 minutes, an easier alternative is to just apply a warm compress instead. The warmer temperature will increase blood circulation. Just be sure to test it on your wrist first to make sure the temperature isn't too hot because your face will be numb. And if you don't feel it beforehand on your wrist, you might not notice you're burning yourself. Keep the compress on for about 20 minutes. Number four, talk. If you're able to move your mouth, Talking is another option if you're not able to get outside and walk. Moving the part of your body that's numb will get the blood pumping again in that area. Just be prepared to sound a little funny or look a little funny slurring your speech in the process. Number five, take a nap or go to bed. Honestly, taking a nap is a great idea. Chances are you're probably exhausted from having your mouth worked on. You might not feel like taking a walk or talking and you just want the anesthetic to wear off. So if you can squeeze in a little nap on the couch, before you know it, you'll be as good as new. It's a way to kill time, right? Right? However, if you had your wisdom teeth removed, be sure not to lay flat on your back. I will link my wisdom tooth removal recovery video if you want to learn more about that because extractions and any type of gum surgery will have very different post-op instructions. And number six, if all else fails, number six is time. Like we said, local anesthetics naturally wear off within a few hours. So taking a nap or watching a movie, distracting yourself will help the time pass by. And if you've never had dental numbing medication before, just know that this process is totally normal. Give yourself anywhere from two to four hours and you'll typically start to feel your lips and cheeks again. And in the process of waiting, be sure not to bite your tongue or cheek. We usually recommend you do not eat anything crunchy or chewy until the numbness wears off for that exact reason. Because when you're numb, you wouldn't know that you're biting your tongue raw until the numbness wears off and then you're like, ow, what happened? tongue. So stick to eating soft foods when you are numb. In all, local anesthetics are great because they numb you up during dental appointments so you don't feel anything during the procedure. They don't make you feel sleepy or cause any type of sedative effects. So you are welcome to drive yourself to and from your appointment if all you had was local anesthetics because again, all they do is cause numbness in the specific area where they were injected. You can safely complete your procedure and hop right behind the wheel of your car afterward. And lastly, if you are someone who has the opposite concern, you're watching this video and you're like, wait, I'm not concerned about the numbness lasting too long. I'm actually concerned that the numbness won't work at all. If that's you, you wanna learn more about that, I do have a video that goes over all of the reasons why someone may have a hard time getting numb or may not be responding to local anesthetics and ways to make your body better respond so you can properly get numbed up. If you're interested, I will link that video of mine in the description. But in all, since you usually only get numbing with dental procedures such as fillings, crowns, root canals, deep cleanings, you can prevent all of that with a better home care routine. Preventing serious dental procedures is possible with a better routine. And to create that better routine, make sure to click the link in the description or in the pinned comment below to sign up for my free oral care guide and join thousands who have already discovered all of the essentials for an effective oral hygiene routine. This guide is an action plan for preventing and maintaining a happier and healthier smile. And I hope this video helped you. Please like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications if it did. And if you want even more Teeth Talk, you can visit my website, teethtalkgirl.com and hang out with me on Instagram at Teeth Talk Girl. Peace, love, and teeth.